Hey guys, it's Nyx. And Quad. And we're drunk. And blurty. And we're back. <laughs> it's been so long. I mean, so it's long. It's been long. Time. And I know we said that the last time we recorded that it had been a long time, but it It, it has really been has been a long, a long time. time. Um, we <laughs> decided to do an episode because Dragon Con is two weeks away. And if you remember, Dragon Con is Geek Central. Mm -hmm. It's. Better than Comic Con. I know people love to talk about Comic Con, Dragon but Con it's beats much Comic better Con than long. Comic Con because it's twenty four hours yep. and it's constantly in different locations, mm -hmm. all in the same central area. There's shopping, there's mm -hmm. panels, there's celebrities, there's costumes, parties. there's drinking, there's uh, yeah, games, there's <laughs> raves, yes. Uh, it's just Panels. anything you can think of, you can find it at Dragon Con. Photo Comic. opportunities. Photo opportunities. Like, it's so mm -hmm. many things. And so, if you ever get a chance to be in Atlanta, Georgia on Labor Day weekend, yes. and actually the Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday or Thursday before Labor Day, to Labor Day. Because it always Day, seems like it, it's, it's getting, getting like, bigger. Yeah, yeah, a day yeah. forward now. When we first started going, it was, it was Thursday. It, no, no, it wasn't Friday. Thursday. It was, yeah, Friday, it was Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, it was Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, um, then, uh, and then we would go home on Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. um, now it's it started Thursday. It's starting programming starts on Thursday. Now, mm -hmm. And and now everybody's getting there on Wednesday for pre gaming or Tuesday because or yeah, I mean because um, it's insane. It's I'll, insane. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it gets a bit insane. It does, but you know, once you go into your first one, you'll get used to it. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, yeah, this is what it is. And they they capped it because yeah. it's gotten ridiculously yes. <laughs> crowded, crowded. Mm -hmm. um, because we have a parade on Saturday and mm -hmm. that usually brings in all the people who are not like hardcore geeks that are there all mm -hmm. four days. And you don't need a pass yeah. in order to watch, watch the, the parade. parade. But what will happen is after the parade, people will come and get day passes for Saturday. Right. So Saturdays are always crazy. So they actually started capping um, and, and that's been great for the people who are consistent and go every year because when I tell you, sometimes walking is a hard thing to do. <laughs> Especially <laughs> when you've been walking all day, when you've been standing in the line all day trying to get into a panel or get a photo op or or or, just, or, 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 or standing in line at the food court right. or, you know, or just I mean, there are lines because people make lines. I'm yeah. sorry. That's just kind of the nature of or the waiting for the Or waiting for the blood drive. Or waiting for the blood drive. Give yeah. blood. Give blood. Um, but yeah, so it's it's actually the one of the greatest things, mm -hmm. and we go every year. Every year, and um, it's you, all, most of our friends go every year. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a great thing to do, and maybe one day we'll do a kind of a rundown of things you probably should know about Dragon Con, mm -hmm. so that maybe like you can plan ahead if you mm -hmm. end up wanting to go. Yeah. <clears throat> so life, <laughs> life be life in, and so part life. of the reason why we haven't been recording a lot. Um, is because we just kind of had a lot of stuff happening mm -hmm. house-wise and life-wise. Um, and back-to-back. -back. Yeah, like there yeah, was yeah. A, well, it's funny. A... We had a great <laughs> vacation. Um, one of the last major things that happened is we had a great vacation. Went on a cruise. It was awesome great. Well, we had a great and then, time. And then before that, the vacation, because we were supposed to go to uh, other places, but then we ended up going to, whatchamacallit, Oh, because of the storm. Yeah, because of the storm. Storm. Uh, what is it? Uh, Barrel. Yeah. Barrel. Mm -hmm. Because of Hurricane Barrel, uh, we instead of going to Cozumel, Costa Maya, or Costa Maya, and Honduras, Honduras. and Belize, mm -hmm. we ended up going to Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. um, U.S. Saint the Thomas, US Virgin, Virgin Islands. No, it's the British. <laughs> the, uh, the British. Virgin, Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands. <laughs> um, we went there and the U.S. Virgin Islands, yeah, and, and we US. went to mm -hmm. uh, Bahamas, Bahamas yeah. um, which we had already been to the Bahamas, so we were I'm like, still, okay, yeah. okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I think it was, was it NASA? Yeah. They took us to, I think. Or no, no, no. We went to, no, no, no. We didn't go to NASA. We went to Great Stirrup K. Oh, Great Stirrup K. K. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, How did they say that? That was Bahamas. nice. It was nice. It was, it was really their, nice their private island. Mm -hmm. um, it was very beautiful. Very it's nice not beach. as... Because it's clearly, it's, it's like Royal Caribbean's private island is next door. Yeah. So it's a uh, perfect day at Coco Cay. So you see all like the slides and the mm -hmm. ride, like the stuff. And it's like, wah! And the see great all the ships is, that are there. It's very like, yeah, like chill, like, relaxing. Okay. You're kind of looking over. <laughs> you're looking going, over there like, mm -hmm. hi. <laughs> but hi, guys. it was still beautiful. <laughs> However, after our, our wonderful cruise, 
we came home um, like and it was storming um prior like we're on our way home as a mm -hmm. matter of fact and it was storming and by the time we got home that night a tree limb the size of uh, about about like that around about my thigh. fell down <laughs> and fell on our uh power line. power line from our house to the street and ripped the power line completely <clears throat> out of the house yeah it did just, yeah the, the whole apparatus right that out. connects the power to the house was mm -hmm. ganked off um also an old cable wire <laughs> that was connected that we just never took down we yanked off the house our new roof that we just got put on um part of it was damaged yeah. the well not the roof itself but like the, the siding the, the molding siding, the mo whatever mm -hmm. yeah the flash. so i'm in the process of putting that back together too uh, so. got yanked off yeah. so we came home from vacation with basically like no power uh, yeah no power we were afraid to actually Walk but the thing in, is yeah. We didn't have power to our house because obviously the power oh, got disconnected. Mm -hmm. But we also just didn't know if the power line itself had any had any juice yeah, because just because yeah. you know it's hard to tell when the and power it was dark is fixing it from your house. It was wet, and it was so. dark and the grass was wet and mm -hmm. the driveway was wet. Everything mm -hmm. was wet. And this power line is going all across our yard and our driveway. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to and get out tree. and walk around because you know zap yeah. zap zap. Yeah, that's the wrong um, way to get a, um, a superpower. So we had to report it to George Power mm -hmm. for them to come and disconnect it, and they did that overnight. And then we came back in the morning. Uh, thank God for our friends L and M yeah. because they're amazing. You can't say thank names, you guys. but they know who yeah. they are. <laughs> um, and thank God for them for letting us come crash. crash at their place, which is so funny because they're just like. You guys want to just yeah, stay just here? Stay here we, this, they yeah. helped pick us up from the, the uh, Marta, the Marta mm -hmm. and uh, we are like, no, we're fine. Gonna we're going to go home. We're tired. We want to get Ooh. in our own bed. Yeah. And, and that and didn't we, work out, guys. So. We got punished for going on vacation. <laughs> we did. And we spent <laughs> double what we spent on vacation yes. to fix oh, all the things because we had to get tree limbs removed. And, and then the power and line. the power line reconnected back, by yeah. an electrician. So mm -hmm. Georgia Power were reconnected. And we had trees that fell in the backyard. In the backyard. And, when and it one fell that on one the fell neighbor. into our neighbor's yard and crushed their fence at a certain spot. But we had three trees down back there. Um, so, nevertheless, we have chopped down a lot of trees. A lot of trees. Since, um, just so we won't have that issue again. Mm -hmm. um, and at some point, when we have more money to just drop on trees, because yeah. apparently that's what rich people do, just drop money on trees. Could uh, you believe? <laughs> I mean, literally, 90-foot tree. 90-foot uh, Well, we had two of them. But um, uh, the average going rate for like one of those trees is like six grand or something. Well, like it was that? actually no, no, it's three thousand for one tree. Oh, three, three grand 3, for, for one, one tree. tree. But here's the thing: some places definitely gouge because I yeah. ran across places that were charging ten for one tree, and I ran across some place some people would do uh, eighteen hundred per tree, but they wouldn't grind the stump. Yeah. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So it was just it was just yeah, a lot of money spent. I found mm -hmm. a good price. And it was a lot of money spent, but just know, guys, home ownership is great until it's not great. Why homes want to be great till they ain't great or whatever? Yeah. Like, I just tried to lizzo that, but whatever. <laughs> um, just reconsider. When the interest rates drop, don't run. Don't run. Because even yeah. new, the funny thing is we have an old house, but even new houses, yeah, even issues. new houses have yeah. issues. So just be yeah. careful. Make sure everything's investigated and you get a, um, a, a what do you call and, it? Uh, uh, inspection. Uh, inspection. Home that's inspection. Right. Complete home um, inspection. Also, if you can, get a plumber or somebody to come out. Get a, a you know, get yeah. a tree guy, an arborist to come out and just look at your trees. Yeah. Um, just whatever you can. So anyway, enough of that. Just to help you. Just help y'all out. I need a drink now because that just brought back so much trauma and I have PTSD. Stress, yeah. Because of what we It's triggering. Went. Yeah, it's triggering. It's triggering. Because like every time it storms, we're right. looking outside and the tree's like, that one's swaying. Yeah. It's moving. Ooh. See it moving? Did you see, see that big... Moving. Ooh, did you see that fall down? <laughs> Came home a couple of times with big limbs just laying in the driveway. We're like, oh, my God. Yeah. So, you know, it's a thing. Yep. <laughs> it's not a thing anymore because we got the two out front removed. The and boom. grinded. So, uh, uh, grinded. Yeah. Grinded. It's mulch now, baby. And I hate to say that because I love the trees. But you, you just ain't going to keep doing me. No, 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 no. And not just falling on the house and falling in the yard and keeping us from getting no. Yep. Because we, we spent money that we could have spent for another cruise. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, we're going to be drinking a little of this Ace. This was a pear cider. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. <laughs> it's a, she ain't been drinking yet, y'all. I haven't. It's a Perry Crabs cider. It's called Perry. Um... Yeah, 
It's Ace, and Ace is awesome. Mm -hmm. We drank their pineapple one. We drank their apple. apple. We drank. There's, they have a mango one. Yeah, um, yeah mango. Yeah. Nick. Um, Nick. <laughs> Quad has a um, what's this? Uh, peach. This is Ace Peach High, high. and it's high because the um, ABV. I want to say the ABV in that one is. Oh. Da, 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 da. Why can't I, I see? Oh, oh, there it is. Uh, five percent. Five percent. This is eight. Yeah. 8 this is like so normal five. beer, you know. Mm -hmm. Shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Cheers, my love. Oh, you haven't even opened. Um, yeah. Cheers, my darling. It's so good. <sighs> Such a peachy smell to it. It's delicious. It's sweet. It's refreshing. And if you are not a heavy like drinker, but you want a little something, something to get you a little, hmm, they're perfect for that. Um. We definitely like these, and when mm -hmm. we go to like pubs for trivia and stuff or bars, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get the them ace. on draft that they have. Mm -hmm. Typically, they only have the, the pineapple regular ace cider or, or the, the regular ace cider. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but still, they're good. So just try it; they're delicious. Um, we got a few things we want to recap that we have been watching. Mm -hmm. We also have some drinks we're gonna try to here. put together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little something. something. And um, then, of course, because of Dragon Con, uh, I'm gonna save that one for last, but. You can see it right here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's his peach cobbler. The peach cobbler is on deck. Which, after what was that, our first or second video we did ever? Yeah. That was a. Uh, that was a. Uh, that's probably one of our biggest yeah. numbers. Big hit. Yeah. Not that we have a lot of viewers, but just saying. Someday. <laughs> Someday. We're going to get there. If we can <laughs> constantly record. And, we, and then also do shorter videos. Because yeah. that's part of the reason our videos are long. But and we, and we just release short, shorter videos in between time. In the meantime, we just got to do better. We have done some small videos. Um, that we've released on TikTok and yeah. some that we've done on like Instagram. Yeah. But we just haven't been really keeping up. And because life, like I said, it's life be life. Mm -hmm. Adulting is for the birds. And mm -hmm. um, adulting is hard. So, somebody online said, adulting is ghetto. Like, <laughs> I don't know who told ah! us that this was great when we were children, that, you know, and, and made us feel like being an adult was great, no. but they were dumb. <laughs> Nobody told us that. That's what we wanted. Oh, that's just what we wanted. Oh, and my and God. Were we that dumb? Like, this, you know, you don't want to grow up just yet. We didn't understand like, that when well, we were we younger. Well, we do. <laughs> but now we know. <laughs> I bet we do. <laughs> Sorry, that's lies. Yeah. I definitely want to grow up. Ugh. To be fair, I would like to have the money and the autonomy that I have as an adult. But have none of the bills. Yeah, none of the responsibility. And none of the responsibility I had as a child. All day. Combine those and perfect it. Perfect it life, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you, that's the reason why I think babies <laughs> cry. Uh, because they know. Because oh they're my born God, with, one day. They're born with <laughs> ultimate knowledge. They know everything. And they cry because they can't say it. They can't say it. And then they forget and as they, they forget grow as they into... Older. That whatever age they're mm -hmm. at, because they're like, oh my god, I gotta go through this again, and again. then they just forget, and then mm -hmm. they, then later in life they become adults or even teenagers or whatever, and they have flashbacks yeah. of things that they deja never vu. did. That's what they and deja, deja vu mm -hmm. and dreams about stuff that feel very real and thoughts about stuff like I don't. Yeah. When did that? When, when, happen, when could that I happen? Remember it I happening. remember yeah. it, but I don't mm -hmm. know when it could have happened. So <laughs> that's our theory, um, and we're sticking to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, if you got if you got any theories about us being here before mm. or any kind of reincarnation stuff or whatever, like whatever you think it is, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's something. Mm, it's something. So anyway, so we uh, want to talk about a few things that we watched mm -hmm. uh, over the last whatever I don't couple know. Of months. Well, yeah, a couple, couple of months, months sounds yeah, good. Most of them are more recent, mm -hmm. but definitely a couple months. So we started off. Um, we watched uh, Star Wars Acolyte. Mm -hmm. um, it was okay. I mean, to be fair, uh, here lately, we haven't been as into the Star World, Star World, uh -oh. Star, Wars. Star, Star Wars, Wars Universe, universe. <laughs> Wow. as much as we, <laughs> as we were at, when we were younger and like, mm -hmm. um, and with the movies, mm -hmm. uh, with the TV shows. Um, it was entertaining though. Um, <laughs> I didn't have any real problems with it. I, I have a lot of friends who are heavily into the Star Wars universe who had issues with it. 
Um, and I, there's a big divide between a lot of fanboys who really just hate everything they're putting out now because it's too diverse. It's not like this, not like that, whatever. And so they're, I'm not talking about those guys. I'm just talking about people who are true fans who, who are, who are having discussions about it that aren't just based in it ain't white people. Yeah. Um. So. Because they're they're out there too. <laughs> so it's just like you know. So those people, and I respect hearing people's opinions about why they don't like something or mm -hmm. why they do like something. I'm not gonna knock them for liking mm -hmm. it. Like there's a lot of things I hate. <clears throat> like uh, <laughs> like the Mayfair <laughs> Witches TV show. I absolutely hated it. Um, I'm gonna watch it and hate watch season two because I feel like because they're doing the Anne Rice Immortal Universe that. It's gonna come into play where they're gonna start doing shenanigans if that show doesn't do well. Mm -hmm. So people, please watch it, even though it's a, it's horrible. It's almost like the writers and the showrunners, like literally, like it's almost like they had Aaron Rice's book. They read the back label, and then they were like, "Let's write it." Let's write it. <laughs> that sounds great. Like there is so much that they have done wrong, and mm. honestly, the actors aren't horrible, but they're horrible in these characters. And that's the thing. And that could be because the writing's bad. But also, I love Alexandra Daddario in most everything. She's really a cool actress. But I am not digging her as Roy Mayfair. I'm not. And I just, I'm really disappointed because that book was a thousand pages. And you got me up here reading a thousand pages to love and love some characters in the book just to get a show that is garbage. Okay? So, I wasn't going to talk about that. But anyway, so back to Acolyte. <laughs> I'm talking about Interview with the Vampire too because I do I actually She's love that She's all about that. And the last time we tried to record our drunken uh, a review of that show, the fates would not let the video upload. Uh, upload, yeah. And I think it's because somebody in AMC World did not want me to get my <laughs> Going opinion off on <laughs> about Louie's last line talking about Armand was the love of his life because maybe I had a connection. But <laughs> we, we come to that. Anyway, so... Um, Acolyte, you know, it was cool. It was cool to see um, Carrie Ann Moss back. Trinity oh, from yeah, Matrix. Trent. Your girl was, Trent is uh, in it. Oh, boy, from uh, the Squid Game is oh, in yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, my girl Amanda Stenberg. See her, a grown woman, you know. She, she was Rue in The Hunger Games. Yeah. She was in Columbiana. Um, she's 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 grown up, and it's good to see her acting still. And it was just, it was fun. The, the girl, uh, I forget her name, but from Logan. Oh, yeah. Who is also, she, we're going to talk yeah. about Deadpool later, who is also in Deadpool. Also oh, in that, yeah. also, this thing is going to be loaded with spoilers, oh, BT Dubs. Yeah. So, I'm going to put that in the description. The beginning, yeah. And in the title <laughs> of this video, spoilers for everything. Mm. So, yeah. So, the young girl, gosh, why? I don't know why. I, I can't think of her name, but um, she's, she plays the, it was a number. Something 23, I think, was her number. She, she didn't oh, have what? a name. She didn't have a name in Logan. She just oh, had a oh, 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 oh. Um, but she's also in Deadpool. But she's also an acolyte. Yeah. Um, and her character was was cool. I liked her character. Um, um, and so spoiler alert, <laughs> she, she dies. dies. So <laughs> that's that. X twenty three. X twenty three from Logan. That's she was. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, which yeah. also that actress played Lyra in His Dark Materials on HBO with Lin Manuel Miranda, um, and everybody. So. Uh, oh, and my boy, James McAvoy. Yep. Um, so anyway, so Acolyte was okay. Um, mm -hmm. Your boy from good uh, from the good place, the one that played Jason from the good place, is in there. Um, I won't spoil that character as much, but like I, I don't know. I thought it was cool. Um, what else? And well, well, yeah, that. But um, the whole thing with that was the Jedi are made to. You know, through all the Star Wars movies, the, the Jedi are always seem to be, are always deemed or perceived to be the good force, you yeah. know, the the police of the universe, you know, and all that. But as you know, with the police, you what? know, you got some bad some folks bad in there too, right? So this is what that is. And there was a, like the, but it's like always said, this is like a that. Spoiler, the Jedi you know. are assholes. Like they're awesome and they're great and they're good. And they're, and they're also but they're assholes. assholes. Yes. Like the yeah, and so like they yes. make decisions that they feel is best. But when they make those decisions, sometimes they're not, not the best decisions mm -hmm. and they're not good. And then they they betray each other. That is. Like another tenant, apparently, of being a friggin' Jedi mm -hmm. is they do stuff 
to betray each other. And I mean, it's not just Anakin who yeah, did that. Not, not just Anakin. In some kind of fashion, you know. And so it's it's annoying. And it's not. They're not always a Sith. Yeah. Well, they they eventually. They, I mean, are they, a Sith. Yeah. But what but what he means is they don't start off. Yeah, they don't as start off Sith. that way. Yeah. And then they become whatever. But mm-hmm. anyway, so I feel like it was okay. It had some nice little fighting scenes. Mm-hmm. You know, it was very Star Warsy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just mad my girl died. She just died in a messed up way. That was just who? horrible. Um, um, Logan. Oh uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that character. Yeah, she did yeah. die in a messed up way, but it was it was still a cool scene. Uh, Jackie. How everything. Jackie, that was her name. Jackie. Jackie. Mm-hmm. Also, Carrie Ann Moss, like, yeah, that was a, got wiped out. I'm like, damn, come pretty, on, come like, on, man. Trish, Trish. 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 I, had, I had a feeling because I was like, she's too big an actress for them to just kill her off in the first five minutes. So mm-hmm. she had flashbacks, but yeah. yeah. Um, so that part, so spoilers. Um, that part was like, oh man, but I wanted to see more Trinity. I wanted to see more Trinity. Um, um, but the storyline was was okay. It was cool. They were twinsies, but technically they weren't. So we won't spoil that. Um, I mean, that's a little spoiler, but not a big spoiler. You still have to figure out what they are yep. uh, and what they're doing. But um, yeah, so it was cool. But it just kind of made me feel like how, like right now in life, anything that anything that's different in Christianity gets crapped on. Mm-hmm. And if, if it's not Christian, it ain't right. And all this other stuff that people kind of put on other people. And it has that same vibe. Because there's another religion out there that's doing their thing, minding their business, but the Jedi's keep telling Hoping them they can't that, yeah, do this. You can't do you this. Can't do this mm-hmm. You can't do that. But, but they ain't doing nothing they to harm nobody. You, so why are you messing with them? So anyway, mm-hmm. so it kind of gives me that whole vibe, and it's annoying. And the thing is, we're Christians, but we're not gonna be those kind of Christians yeah. who Hoping feel like everybody got to do what yeah. we do, or they're not. They're wrong, mm-hmm. and they're going to hell. I'm not about to. I don't have a hell to put anybody in. So. Your choices are your own. And my thing is, as long as you're not harming other people... Mm-hmm. You're good to go. Then that's, you know, and I, prefer, you I would prefer you not harm yourself as well. Yeah. But I can't stop you from doing don't, that. But other people, like... As long don't, as take, not, don't take anybody else yeah, out while you're doing it. Right. Just, you know, like, I just, I don't know, whatever. Maybe our, uh, our thoughts on it are skewed, but that's just how I feel about it. But anyway, so... The next thing... Uh, oh. So, Deadpool. Oh. Deadpool, that's right. We ah! went to see Deadpool, mm-hmm. and we actually need to go back and see it again. Yeah, but I'm sure it's gonna be in theaters for a while because mm-hmm. it's very it, it popular. Hit, uh, so you, yeah. A billion dollars in, in the first like week, three, the first two weeks, something. Like that. Yeah, like the first three weekends, oh, it hit like a billion dollars. So um, that, that, if those, it keeps going the way it is and stays in the theater, it's on track to beat. Mm-hmm. Um, what Avatar? Not Ab- like that? Yeah, wait, no, it's yeah Avatar because mm-hmm. Avatar is still number one. And then I think, shoot, I had this memorized. It was Avatar, and then right below Avatar is Endgame. And then mm. after Endgame, I think, is Avatar 2. Oh, and Way then, of Water. And then, like, yeah, because it was, like, Titanic for the longest time, and then Avatar beat Titanic. and then, But Endgame is number two, and I think Avatar 3 is, I mean, 2 is number three. Um, so, but if it keeps going, just billion dollars every three weeks, it's going to topple. Um, James Cameron's record. Mm. And he's had this record since 97. So, of having the top top grossing movie. Um, so, that's pretty yeah. awesome. Avatar, Endgame, then Avatar, Way of Water, then Titanic is number four. Titanic, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. I think... And I think... Yeah. Yeah, so that's three, three Cameron movies. So, at least they'll be in... They'll be in the top four still. Uh, if, if Deadpool passes it, but it's it's kind of amazing um, how this has worked for James Cameron. You know, like wow, mm-hmm. um, and it's crazy that Avatar is still so big. I yeah. know so many people who honestly hated Avatar, um, but it's still like a huge franchise. Huge franchise. And we waited because that first movie came out in what two thousand nine. Oh yeah, and then The Way of Water came out what last year, mm-hmm. and like all that time we waited for that, and people it's still, still love those movies. Yep. And he's got what three more coming out? Um, yeah, so, Avatar three is coming out. I, I just looked that up. I was on it. It's fine. They don't need to know. Uh, okay. All right. So first drink, we're gonna make a drink so we can talk about Deadpool. So what are we making? Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to do your coffee or you want to do the peach? Um, I'll do the coffee. You do the peach. Okay. Cool. So we have Quack has a rum a fi- a, Kraken. A fi- Release the Kraken. The Kraken. It's coffee. It's black. It's, it's the Kraken. Black roast. Black roast. Roasted black. Mm-hmm. 
And as you can see, I have been in it. A so, lot. Yeah. <laughs> life. Be life <laughs> So he's going to make what we call the iced coffee. Well, I was going to use this one, so it'll be a... Nice little, oh, okay. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, use that for uh, a peach or whatever. So I'm going to just do uh, a peach margarita, but with peach lemonade Smirnoff <laughs> instead of the uh, tequila, which is my actual drink. I'm going to do that. And so we have some um, Master Mixes white peach mixer. It's a uh, cocktail mixer. Um, it's very sweet, so just be careful with that. It's super sweet. We have some peach nectar, some Jumex peach nectar. Yeah, that's that's some good stuff there. Mm -hmm. Oh, catch me that, babe, so I can hold it up. I can't reach it. Um, Woohoo! And uh, we're going to do some uh, peach lemonade Smirnoff and just a little more of a kick, some regular margarita mix because... You know, who doesn't like a little more margarita mix? Yeah, and plus, you need something to cut all the sweet. It's so sweet, so we have to have some sour to cut it off. You need ice? I do need ice. So, you guys, Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool, and Wolverine, let me just tell you something. <laughs> I know some people have their opinions, they didn't like it. I ain't talking about the people, I'm talking about the people who loved it like we did. Let me tell those are something. real people we want to talk to right now. Let me tell y'all something. I laughed so hard throughout that whole movie. When I say, and we were in a boring theater. Oh, I, that was so there, boring. There's nothing worse than seeing a hype movie. And people that ain't laughing with you or people. nothing. I I'm mean. Not, I'm not talking about this talking in the movie theater. But at least laughing. No, laughing at the jokes. Yeah. Like, it was 80 million jokes. Come on, it's Ryan Reynolds. So you know it was like 80 jokes. I, I mean, mean, this man was pulling out the stops. When I tell you he had all the jokes <laughs> and all the things that happened were hilarious and I mean, like he 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 breaks the fourth wall, obviously, because that's that cool thing, right? But like he literally brought up, oh yeah, so he's putting to make his iced coffee. He's using that rum and he's putting whipping cream in it, and that's gonna be his iced coffee. Ooh, that tummy, it's gonna be. <laughs> but um. Hey, whatever. I made so, <laughs> breakfast this morning and had this, and I ain't doing it yet. Now, so now. So uh, he even so let me tell you, Ryan. Ryan told him, like, one of his <laughs> lines was basically, like, talking about yeah. how Hugh Jackman. Oh, yeah, you're still hurting. He's still hurting from the divorce. <laughs> Yo, like, whoa. whoa. He whoa. just, him and his wife of 30 something years just got a divorce. And he's, like, using that in the movie as a line in the movie. Talking about him, <laughs> the reason why oh, he, Wolverine yeah. was so cranky is because. He's still, yeah, still getting over the, the divorce. divorce. I don't care what nobody say. On, that man. is top notch, okay? That is top That's notch. That's too soon, but it's top notch, yes. <laughs> Because, like, if you didn't know, you didn't get the joke. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you didn't know that he just got a divorce, you wouldn't have got the joke. But, of course, as soon as I heard that, I was cracking, cracking up. Because I'm like, Ryan ain't shit. Um, the other thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it does me taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is good. Uh, uh, uh. Mind you, that rum is very sweet. So when you add that whipping cream, it's just going to be just very sweet, but it's going to be milky and good and yummy. Um, like I don't a, know what to do to like make that. Maybe add some real coffee to it to kind of turn down the sweetness. Yeah, maybe. Because it's very sweet. Okay, so mm. um, so I put the, the, mar the regular margarita mix, the Smirnoff peach lemonade, Vodka, the Junex peach nectar, and then the white peach uh, daiquiri margarita mix. And it gave it a good shake. And I gave it a good shake. Um, it's probably the sure? sweet as I, I, I shook it like 30 times. Why you? Like I'm not going to shake it like that. Like pull away I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm going to pour that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pour that for you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, I gotta go to work tomorrow, y'all. It's gonna be a rough night. <laughs> Cheer! Ooh. Cheers! Mm -hmm. Bling bling! Mmm. Mmm. Dang, girl, you did that. Mm. All right. Okay, boo. Try it. You like it? It's good. Mmm mmm. Mmm. 
I got peach lemonade. All right. I like that, honey. That's not bad. I was just, you know, throwing some stuff together, but let's talk oh, that's about what, that, it. That's how it usually happens. Ooh. Hmm. But anyway, so Deadpool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's going to be a lot to spoilers. So obviously, obviously, there's a lot of fighting. Yes. A lot of blood. Gross, a lot horrible. of person. Because Deadpool and Wolverine are yeah. basically immortal. They regenerate. Mm -hmm. So they don't die just from being <laughs> stabbed, shot, smacked, cut, whatever. But there are other people that did die. There are some people who do die like in the movie, which is awesome. Uh, Even so. <laughs> Um, but they, so one of the things I love, they brought your boy Peter back from Deadpool 2. Mm -hmm. Peter was awesome. He's the only one of the X Force that stayed alive. That, that, that and yeah. he's the. Oh, cool no, no. Um, Lucky. Lucky? Oh, Domino. Yeah, Domino. Domino. She's but I mean, laughing. yeah, but she was lucky. Yeah. She was lucky. She said that she was lucky and that mm -hmm. nothing ever happened to her because she was lucky. But I just mean, like, he should have died. Mm -hmm. Peter should have freaking died. Like, he had no superpowers. He had like he was just a normal human, a nice guy. Literally, mm -hmm. his powers was being a nice guy. Well, so see what being a nice guy can get you. And so he, <laughs> I thought it was really cool. They brought him back, and he was pretty epic. Yes, um, he was really cool, friend. They had, um, they had a, a, a little a kind of a small role for my girl, um, Wumi from uh, from uh, Loki. TV show Loki and oh, yeah, Love, yeah, yeah. Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's hitting me. Lovecraft right. Country. Woo me, and I can't think of her last name, but um, she's I forget enough of her character name because I'm old. Um, but she's in there. She's a part of the um, the, what is the place called? The t TVA. Baby. The TVA. <laughs> the TVA, because they're on the multiverse. They're on the multiverse kick, which is why they're having all these people who should not be. <laughs> able to come because mm -hmm. Wolverine's from another verse because oh. um, he did indeed die in Logan yes um, so that was the end of 20th 20th century 20th century Fox's legacy yeah. of X-Men and the, Wolverine the, 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 the or whatever was him it. dying mm -hmm. and now they've been able to revamp and re, re, uh, revive him and bring him into from another verse mm -hmm. um, your boy uh, Matthew McFadden um, well, he was my Darcy Mobius. in Pride and Prejudice. No, Mobius was no, not in Matthew McFadden? That, that is not Mobius. Mobius is uh, Owen Wilson, baby. Oh. Um, he played, he, he played, oh my God, what's his name? His name was, uh, it started with a P, but I can't think of what it was. God dog it. Mm. Um, he was the bad guy, or one of the bad guys. Uh, but everybody now would know him if you've seen Succession. Oh, you would know yeah, him from yeah, Succession. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's Tom, uh, Siobhan's husband in Succession. Um, and, you know, he's a British actor. So, of course, he's he's decent, decently talented because he's <laughs> British. You know, the Brits. Um, and so he's amazing. And he's he's actually very funny. Um, he's funny on Succession, too, even though that's not about comedy. Um, who else is in it? Um, oh, uh... As it was her name, Erica Debicki, I think her name is. Oh, God. Why am I bad at names today? Um, she was on The Crown, and she's in some other stuff, and she was a guy. But the P.S. de Resistance was that they had Chris Evans on there. They had... Um, and you would think Chris Evans being on there would be, you know, Chris Evans as... Cap! Right? 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 Wrong! Spoiler alert! It wasn't Cap! And Wait let, me, let me tell you, <laughs> we about cracked our pants in the theater and like nobody was making noise. What is wrong with these people? Even Deadpool was like, what the shit? Right. So like there's a scene where they think that they found Cap. cap. And cap. everybody's Holy like, holy shit, shit it's, it's cap. cap. And then no. it's not Cap. You got Cap. Because it's Johnny Storm from Fantastic Friggin' Four, and it's Chris Evans playing Ryu. Oh, I just love that so much. And they was like, oh, and he's like, he's gonna handle it. And then he flamed on, and I was just like, this is amazing. Because, <laughs> like, that's. Because oh, you're like that super was... disappointed, then you're like, no. Yeah! At the same time, you're like, disappointing. Because no, because I that was amazing. No, because I thought it was gonna be Cap. Well, and then I was like, oh, uh, then I was like, oh, but it's hey, it's you. <laughs> so funny. I just thought, I, I hate it for the people who got spoiled for that because that was such a great scene. Mm -hmm. And then other people pops up in there, in there, 
Because they're boy. in the void. They get sent to the void. Which is like the multiverse yeah, trash can. Like the trash can, yeah. And so, so, you know, your boy Snipes was in there. Your boy Wesley Snipes popped up in there. Blade! Mm -hmm. Which, you know, I was not mad that they were going to do a new Blade, right? And I think Mahershala Ali is actually perfect to be the new Blade. But I'm going to tell y'all what. I feel like they ain't been giving Blade love since this whole MCU started. That Blade is oh. one of those uh, franchises that got comic book movies jump started again too. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, like for a long time, after like Batman, um, like in the 90s, I don't feel like there was a ton of stuff before like Spider-Man came back out and then like X-Men came back out yeah. and, then, and then Blade was out, right? Mm -hmm. Like those were the ones that came yeah, out that kind of like started like said, the jump started, started the, mm -hmm. the comic book movies to like really get them comic book going mm -hmm. again. And I feel like Wesley doesn't get enough credit for that. I feel like Blade does not get enough credit. No. And like, I get it. He's an anti-hero. He's not a superhero in that regard. Yeah, but so but is he's Deadpool. a freaking superhero. He fights the bad guys. Like yeah. he might do so it. So is Deadpool. But, but I'm just saying like, he's no, what my, no, my point <laughs> is, my point is it wasn't that. That wasn't oh, my point. Well, so yeah, Deadpool is also who he is. But what I'm trying to say is like when Black Panther came out, it was a whole thing of, oh, the first black superhero. Oh, yeah, no. Like, no yes, in the comics, he's the first black superhero. I get that part. But, but like, they were making it seem like he was the first black superhero to have a movie. And I'm like, Brett, mm -hmm. what was Blade? Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody says. And um, also, can we go back to Spawn? He's an yeah. anti hero. Another anti -hero. He's an anti hero. He's not a superhero. But, like, Spawn was technically a good guy, played by a black man. Okay. But. Either way, I just didn't like the disrespect and John that, was, and, that was happening yeah. with my boy Blade, Wesley Snipes, because Blade is that ish. That first Blade, yeah. can't nobody take no, that. Nobody take can't it. nobody mm -hmm. take that. The blood coming out the sprinkler system. Mm -hmm. the, the Blood rain. Oh, my God. Like, the villains being silly and mm -hmm. just crazy. Blade talking shit. Whistler. Mm -hmm. We got my boy Sam. Come on. You cannot tell me. The first Blade wasn't on. Yeah, it was now, the other two, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. whatever. I, they liked them, but, and then of course, but the, that first the Blade. The Trinity, Blade Trinity, because, you know. Well, with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, with Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds, Reynolds is in. Three. So it's, it's, what, is that third degree of separation? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I saw, so seeing him in Deadpool, versus, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine mm -hmm. was, like, magic. Mm -hmm. And he says the thing that I have been, like, he says that he is the one and only fucking Blade. Basically, and I was like, that's exactly mm -hmm. why this new blade has been cursed. They keep mm -hmm. losing directors, they can't get the writers together, like shit yeah, is just yeah, yeah. going it's, crazy. Yeah. And I believe it's because yeah. you didn't put that hoodoo on it. <laughs> like, unfortunately for Mahershala, because he's a wonderful actor, and I believe he would be a great blade. I do feel like Wesley put a stamp on it, and the universe is like, nah, we good. Nah, we good. So just go on the shelf back. Let's move on. Even get another I would Marvel like character. To see it. I, I would, I would, I would like to see a new play. I, I mean, would I like would to too. It. I would too, because Wesley's older. Although yeah. Wesley kind of killed it, he can still do a blade. He still got the body. He still got the moves. He still be hot keto. What's up, man? But he still be doing it. Okay, I'm sorry. That was that might have been a little insensitive. <laughs> no, I, mean it that way. I am drinking. I'm so sorry. But he still got it. He's not like 80. He can still be blade. But also, I, I feel like they can give Mahershala a different character. Mm -hmm. um, they did it for Chris. They so, gave him somebody so new. he's a different they, day walker. <laughs> <laughs> they can give him anybody else. Um, they're in the multiverse. They can do what they want, right? That's like yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is coming back for an iteration That's of Doom. Doctor Doom. He's, as, he's Doctor Doom. Come Why on, not, man. right? Yeah. And so uh, I think that could happen. Um so then we had Blade, then we had Jennifer um, Garner. Garner come back as, as Electra. Electra, which back in the day, mm -hmm. I liked the Electra movie. I like any movie where a woman's kicking ass. Mm -hmm. So I don't care what people say or who they didn't like or whatever. I will say, I thought Colin Farrell's character was annoying and thick. Yeah, um, Bullseye. Bullseye, yeah. I think. And, but I love um, Michael Dar Cl Clark Duncan. I can never say Cl Michael the Clark, Michael Clark, Duncan. Clark, Clark, Clark Michael Duncan. Duncan. God dang it. I can never get those three names. I know names. he has a bunch of uh, first names. But all right, Pete, brother. You was, yeah. the, you was the man. I did mm -hmm. like him as um, Kingpin. Kingpin, mm -hmm. which Kingpin, by the way, this is the Nafrio. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm so hot. It's coming to Dragon Con. I know. <laughs> He's coming to Mr. Nafrio's 
The current she kingpin in the MCU comics. is coming to Dragon Con, BT Dubs, just so y'all know. I hope he didn't cancel because I haven't seen that. But, you know, mm. every time I say I'm so oh. excited about somebody coming to Dragon Con, uh, here yeah, recently, they, they start they dropping off. I'm like, mm-hmm. don't do that. But anyway. Yeah, something happens. So, uh, so Electra is, is mm-hmm. in it. Um, and then, and then your boo, boy, Magic Mike. <laughs> my boo, Channing Tatum, coming to the cookout. <laughs> Doing a little routine on stage. I will make a name for myself. Yeah. He came in as your boy Gambit. And let me tell you, buddy, his Cajun Gambit is, is hilarious. <laughs> It's amazing. I don't care what nobody says. It is but you know, no, he was the funniest thing. Oh my thing. god, but he was funny. He it was, was funny. the funniest thing. But uh, when uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool, Deadpool was like, <laughs> was like, I understand what you're saying. Who is your dialect coach? <laughs> like, who told you to sound like that? Bruh, I was dying. Oh my god. Um, on the floor crying. Man, I laughed so hard. And once that again, movie. we were in the theater crying. Right. And I can't believe and how quiet it was in this theater, y'all. The people we were with, they were laughing their ass but off. Like, but like, it was just so was. quiet. It was like a few, a few trickles here or there. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> and then like they had a thing that was the most Dragon Con thing of all. It's the Deadpool's, the mini versions of Deadpool's from the different yeah, areas. Because at Dragon Con every year we have had even yes. before the Deadpool movie came out. We have had the Deadpool parade, the Deadpool parade mm-hmm. like all the Deadpools, because they have their little group thingy or a big group, I should say. Lucha Deadpool, there was yeah, the yeah. Scottish Lady Deadpool, Deadpool. Like, there's Baby Deadpool, there's all who kinds was played of by his wife. No, yeah, Lady yeah. Deadpool was played by by Blake Lively. Shout mm-hmm. out to Blake for having a good movie come out, which I'm going to go see because I read the book. So it is with us. I'm going to go see it. Go see it. Um, shout out to Blake for that. But um, his kid, but his, they had yeah. his kid played mm-hmm. uh, the kid pool. Yeah, kid pool. pool. That was cussing, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean, just, I mean, let's. Come on. <laughs> it, was, it was just so much fun, though. It was just, it was like just a lot of laughs. It was really fun, and mm-hmm. it was, you know, how they play and and do, and there's a little romance in there, and then. And Leslie Uggams, uh, Al, what does he call her? Yeah, the big Al, blind, blind out, 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 blind out, blind out. Like I ain't never in my life. Yeah, Leslie yeah, Uggams. Every time I see her as this character, I just crack up because I'm like, I cannot believe this is Leslie Uggams. Uh, blind out, blind out, talking shit. Like she talks so much, so much shit. shit. And they have this scene where it's like that she's like naming different ways to call cocaine. Some and man, she says some stuff I ain't never heard in my life. <laughs> Because she wanted to do some cocaine and I just died laughing. Mm. Um, but yeah, overall, hey, I give it an A, hey, hey, because it was fun. And I'm yeah. definitely going to go see it again. And hopefully yeah. the theater is better because I hate nothing more than I hate watching a hype ass movie it was with boring ass people. people like guys. Oh, yeah, John Favreau was in it too, right? Yes, he yes. played happy. Yeah. Yes, because he, you know, he started us off with that MC, MCU blah, 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 blah mm-hmm. Iron Man, you know what I'm saying? So they had to bring him back. That's my boy, though, John Favreau. Um, but yeah. Oh, and the dog. Uh, dog pool. The cutest, ugliest dog <laughs> you ever want to see. Ugliest dog you I was like, please, yeah. Ryan, get that dog out of your face for mm-hmm. her. I mean, because he was a. Straight, I don't know how tongue kissing that dog. It was just and gross. he's just doing it deadpan. This and the dog's this. And her tongue was this long, <laughs> and she was ugly. I mean, all in the room. Oh, it was disgusting. But she was cute, ugly. She was cute, ugly. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, it was a fun. It was a fun uh, movie, and I feel like obviously you can't take your kids, or you shouldn't. You should I'm not, not judging you, but I wouldn't take my kid to see it until they were a certain age, just yeah. because you don't want them saying some of the things that. Yeah. yeah, it's just very violent, and it's just it's a lot. So I just I wouldn't take my kids to see it. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a bit much. So the next thing I want to discuss: uh, Interview with the Vampire season two came out. <laughs> Spoilers! And my rant from last season about that last line of the show where Louis <laughs> says that bullshit about Armand being in love in his life. life finally got debunked. Because it was all a lie. And I knew it was a lie. But what, wasn't he like tricked or something? So he was tricked. I'm not going to give all that out. But he was oh, tricked. Oh, you spoil stuff. stuff I mean, I did, I did say that I wasn't going to spoil everything. I'm going to leave some stuff. But yeah, he was tricked. Um, but also, he was stubborn. And so he was able to be tricked because he was stubborn. So that's on him. Yeah, he, he was able to be tricked because he was whipped. 
He was and Louis do give it. But to be fair, they whipped. He was whipped. Lestat is whipped. Armand is like Louis got them. <laughs> Dignity. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. And so it was a great season. Um, they had to switch up the Claudia because um, Bailey Bass, who was the original Claudia, um, who is funny to me, I feel like the second Claudia was better. I did love Bailey Bass, but I think the second Claudia is better. Um, Delaney Hales. I think she was better. I think her accent was better. I think she had more feeling in her acting. I do think that they both kind of struggled with the accent in the beginning a little bit, but I feel like it got way better um, for both of them by the end. Um, but I actually, I just, I don't know. I just like Delaney better. I feel like she really did a great job. And um, I I don't know. Some people hated her, whatever. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, I don't care either. But I do, <laughs> I do want to say like, it was such a good season. Like, Roland Jones, or Roland, I think it's Roland Jones. Oh, like Roland Stone? Well, no, <laughs> his name is either, it's either Roland or Roland. I think it's, I think they say it's Roland, oh, as how he says it. Um, is the showrunner and head you know, writer. And, like, this guy, man, when I say he, his storylines are amazing, like, some stuff that seemed off in the first one that people were like, oh, I don't get this. Why is this? He, like, showed why it was a different thing and just mm -hmm. changed it up and, like, fixed some stuff. And, like, the characters were amazing. Like, they had... Um, ben Daniels come in and play Santiago. And when I say that bitch right there came with it and was the best Santiago. Oh, my God. He was even better than in the books. and Because in the books, he's really not as... He's he's a pivotal part of the story, but he's not as big and as lively and just as good as Ben Daniels played him on that screen, y'all. Oh, my God. He was so amazing. Um, it's a character you love to hate. I love it. Um, I like what they did with the Madeline character because also her stuff was very short in the books. It wasn't very much. And in the movie, it was very short. Um, and they did a really good storyline for her. Um, I, was really, I really enjoyed that actress. I like the theater of uh, the vampires. Oh, my God. it was They were amazing. And like, uh, and let's just talk about it. Sam Reed, baby. I, I'm, just, I'm just used Ooh. to my uh, Antonio playing. Whatever. You know. <laughs> Sam, Reed, Sam Reed is <laughs> Lestat. Antonio like, I, oh, he is the Lestatiest Lestat that ever Lestat, y'all. When I say what? he was in the movie, I mean, in the show, um, not as much as last season because this is... Technically, interview is about from Louis's point of view, so a lot of Lestat is based on his point of view. So if he's not bringing Lestat up, Lestat's not part of the story. So it's certain parts where he's in there um, for this part of the season, and at, but by the end, baby, ooh, ooh, that's all I gotta say. Um, Sam Reed comes with it, and Jacob is is gorgeous and beautiful too, and he just comes with it, and he's such a good actor. Uh, Eric Bogosian, who plays Daniel, amazing. He keeps you on your toes. Like, he is just so good. I just really love his cast. I'm really, really happy that it's going forward. I cannot wait for the new season, which is the third season, um, because you, they don't change stuff the way you do with TV because it's confusing. They're, it's going to stay interview with the vampire, mm -hmm. but the next season is going to be probably like a um, subtitle, The Vampire Was That, because they're doing the uh, Vampire Was That book. Um, so it's going to be about him and his rock and roll times and baby them already did a sneak peek and released the first song and everything and show him being the rock star Lestat, and I'm just like baby let's go so I'm so excited and I can't wait and I'm actually going to be on a panel at Dragon Con with my oh, girl yeah. Hi, that's right Hi, Cole, a fandom I'm hybrid looking forward to that. podcast mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to be on a panel with her talking about it and how much we love the show um, and you know, and then just be critical about things that we didn't like. I mean, there were some things I didn't like, but overall, like, I they're mean, just really, they're that's... really just putting their foot in this whole thing. And that's why it makes me so angry that the Mayfair Witches is garbage. Because that book is so good. The first book, the second book's okay, the third book's okay, but that first book is so good. And it's a thousand pages, and y'all couldn't do no better than what y'all did. I could have wrote a well, fan fiction better maybe than maybe what they did. Maybe they'll doing. remake it. And no, they're not. And they're not going to make it better. And this season, they're bringing in a character, Julia, Uncle Julia. <sighs> he's a horrible person, but he's one of the best characters. And he's he just draws you in, and just like, they're going to ruin him. And I'm mad at that. So whatever. I don't even talk about that anymore. But anyway, so Interview with the Vampire Part Season 2, amazing. And it has some good scenes. And, you know, people die, of course, because that's the point of the story, right? Um, Anne Rice basically wrote 
the character of Claudia based on her daughter, even though she said she didn't. It's all lies. She clearly wrote that about her baby girl mm. um, who died. So, um, yeah. So I'm very, I'm very happy with what we got, and then it was great. And so, yeah. All right. Drink, 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 drink. You want to talk about Alien? Hell yeah. You know I love aliens. Um. So we went to go see Alien Romulus. Yes. On um, Friday. Yes. <clears throat> Wish we could have gotten the bucket. Ugh. But we couldn't get the bucket. Um, because I would have definitely mounted that on a wall somewhere, and that would have been, you know, the last time that would have ever been touched. <laughs> um, <laughs> um it was a great movie. Uh Romulus is supposed to take place after the Nostromo incident. Yeah. Okay. And before aliens. And before aliens. But before, yeah. But before Sigourney goes back with the Marines and kicks ass. So this is a prequel of of aliens, but an after of of, of Nostromo of yeah. Alien. <clears throat> so apparently they went back into space. Spoiler alert! Yeah, this is oh, spoilery. Yes, <laughs> and they found the alien that Ripley ejected out of the out of the um, life raft. Brought it back and started doing experiments, and you know, human beings doing human being shit, especially when you're a scientist. You know. They fucked up, and yeah, it was a big fuck up. So, they but, need to listen to Jeff Goldblum and yeah. Jurassic Park. Did you ever think you probably should, should do this shit? Just because just you can. can. I mean, mean, we paraphrase it, it. But yeah. they really should have listened to him. Yeah. So, yeah, big, big fuck up, but, you know, people, the right ones escaped, you know. It was a great movie. Um, 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 it paid a lot of homage. To, I saw a lot of, um, if anyone saw Prometheus, um, you will notice a really strong similarity to um, what the monster looks like mm. compared to the engineers, is what they call the engineers, them. Engineers, yeah, the creators, um, the creators of humans, yeah, of human and yeah. aliens. <clears throat> That's when it, when it well, I'm not, and, I'm not trying to spoil and it, but ooh. they they go back to the the the, the, the marines from aliens. Yeah, well, so they do a little yeah, the hit colonial of the colonial <laughs> marines, but it's like the, I guess the, the colonial marines the that pre, existed before, yeah. Before but they were still aliens. colonial marines. Yeah, before aliens, colonial marines. Yeah. Okay, no, no Hicks and Hudsons here. Yeah. Um, but they use the same tech, and I, I want to say the gun that they use was it was the same gun. He well, badass because so, the 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 one that they were like the one that Ripley was using in Aliens was the, wasn't like that. It didn't do all that. Oh uh, that yeah yeah. It didn't do all yeah. that. I want that gun. It was like I want that. It gun. was it was kind of like on uh, uh, Fifth Element when he was like, once you lock in on a target, it doesn't matter where you shoot, the bullet's gonna go to that target. Oh remember? yeah. So it was kind of like the, that, the except for if the, you lock in on a target <laughs> yeah. and that target moves over yeah, there, replay, the gun is gonna hit. Every bullet goes to the same. Yeah. Like <laughs> that, so, so if you lock in on the target, the mm -hmm. gun goes. It if the target goes it, that way, it goes, it goes to that where, way. The, where and the, the target goes. It just moves your. So you don't have to do it yourself. I want that good. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there were uh, a lot of. Um, I thought the acting was pretty good. Mm. Uh, there was a lot of jump scares. Um, and you know me, I'm not a huge fan of horror movies, but I love the Alien franchise. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, he um, does. And funnily enough, won't watch like I will not like, watch uh, anything with demons yeah. or Freddy Krueger. <clears throat> but he'll watch Aliens and go to sleep on it. Because you can fight that. You might lose, but you can still fight it. You know, you can't fight something that's in your dream. <laughs> you can't fight a demon. Come on. <laughs> Power of you can't physically you. fight a Power demon, but you can physically fight an alien. You can shoot that motherfucker. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, you got to watch out for the, the blood, the, Ooh, the, the acid blood, yeah, the acid blood, which is really messed up. And if you go see it, there's a scene in there with the alien blood. That's a lot of acid. Like, it's a lot of acid. Ooh, it's a lot of acid. And let me just tell you, them aliens, man, I know they reproduce fast, but damn. damn. Sometimes, man, I'm just like, God, they reproduce so freaking fast. Mm. They just, ooh. And they come out so quick, like so quick. When it happened, I, I, when, when it happened to her, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a queen. Oh, you can yeah, tell. Yeah, I, I knew it because because that's gonna be the first. Like, usually, if there's nothing there, a queen is gonna be the first one to be reproduced. Yeah, but and, there was apparently she doesn't need a. But there were already other anything, ones so. there, though. Yeah, they so, just, we just had just, to see them. Well, yet. there were the the the, the huggers. They no, were, I'm talking about either. actual like the other uh, the xenomorphs. Xenomorphs were there. I oh, feel like okay. because remember at the end there was a lot that there she was fighting. 
I don't think um, they just came once that one well, was made. Yeah, 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 because they it had was, to it be was there a people already. off of the yeah. off of the, And they uh, had the, the already had the yeah. uh, the nesting area where yeah. they put the humans yeah, already yeah, made yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah. it was already Xenomorph yeah, there. Already there. Um and my so I mean I'm not saying she wouldn't that one wasn't a queen, I'm just saying there were other Xenomorphs mm-hmm. there. Um see, and so just so y'all, you know, y'all y'all know, um AMC has the bucket with the face hugger. Mm-hmm. Uh uh Regal, Regal has mm-hmm. one with the face hugger, but it's on like this this glow in the dark or uh, backlit cup thingy that looks like it's on like a lab a lab with the juices on the inside. <laughs> um, and Cinemark has one. It's the Xenomorph head oh. for popcorn. Oh yeah, that's the one I really want. So if anybody sees that and it ain't on like yeah, e, what eBay, eBay or none yeah. that crap. It, it ain't so a if you see it at a theater. Look, I will sell you. Yeah. I will pay you. Scoop it up. Get it we, for we, us. We will, get, we, we will get it from you. Scoop yeah. it up. We will buy it from you. And um, because I... Oh, my God. I didn't realize there's so much other stuff back here. Look at this. Okay. We'll look them up and get them look, up. Look at this. I see, baby. Okay. So, the other was, day, after we went to go see Rom, mm-hmm. Romulus, um, Adam surfing his uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Yes. Yes. And um, I saw this book, and I was like, oh, my God. I can't believe they have a... I remember reading these type of books when I was younger. The little the, golden the, the book. little golden books. I want the the golden the little skinny um, <clears throat> uh, pre K yeah. golden books. And, they, and they have the the gold. Um, what is this called? The um, Bind, binder. Bind, yeah. Uh, the spine. 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 Thank you. The, Woo, it's been a long time since so, I've been in a library. Uh, uh, audio book. It. <laughs> look at that. A, a is, is for, for alien. alien. Ah, it's a picture book about aliens from A to Z. Uh, and <laughs> it is so freaking I love this. cute. I can't oh wait to give God. the other copies I got to some children. <laughs> it is so cute. It is so cute. I was like, I, I, I immediately opened it up and started reading. F is for face hugger. <laughs> it's so cute. Show some e pictures, is for babe. Egg. Show see. some pictures. Okay. Let me see. I'll get a good one. Get the one like get Ripley. Do Ripley. Yeah. <laughs> My husband loves him some Ripley. And it's for Nostromo. <laughs> Let me see. I don't think R is for Ripley. It is. Maybe I it think is it is. Ripley. Oh, yep. I, I, I read it too. R is for R is Ripley. For Ripley. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. This is going on a shelf and no one's going to touch it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you because my darling... Mm-hmm. Nick's got it for me. We actually really did like the movie a lot, mm-hmm. and you know it's that, that it's that thing where people like make bad decisions. Yeah, people horrible decisions. Hesitate, like, and you, you can't know hesitate. This is a bad decision. You can't hesitate with aliens, in fact, especially face face huggers, because they move so fast. You can't sit there and hesitate. It's ridiculous. Um, and you learn something new about them every day. I didn't know that they were. Um, they they. Well, I guess it makes sense because if the predators do that, then why wouldn't they too? Um, they're uh, 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 heat. Oh, they, they're they yeah, they're heat, heat sensitive, so sound. they so they don't have eyes. Yeah. So they 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 hear you or they feel or they your feel heat. your heat. They feel yeah. your heat signature. So they're like mosquitoes that can lay eggs inside of you. <laughs> that's, um, that's worse that because when they pulled that one, that one out of that, it was I know, so I know, long. It was so, oh, it was long. so long. Oh, God. It looked like the magician that's pulling the, the handkerchief was, out is just kept like, going. I don't, like, re- I don't oh. recall them being that fucking long before. <laughs> And I was like, girl, that was all the way in your uterus. <laughs> oh, my God. And not in a good way. Not in a good way. Oh, 60-40. Not Ooh. in your favor. <laughs> May the odds be forever Ooh, in your favor. They were not. It was a mess. It was a mess. They were not. <laughs> all right. So, uh, the last, well, actually, we're going to talk about two more things. But the last. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, so, yeah. They have other golden books. Other golden books. So. Other golden books. So. They have Star Wars. Uh, they have another Star Wars. I don't know what Haunted that one is. Mansion. It's so tiny. Yeah. A Haunted Mansion. Be, let me see. It might be Clone Wars. Cause uh, a the Nightmare last, Before the last Christmas. Jedi, and they have A New Hope. Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's Haunted awesome. Mansion, they got a, a bunch Mountain, of them. Planet of it says there's over 200. It says they have more than 200 uh 
timeless golden little golden books this dude and i'm assuming that a lot of them are these okay mandalorian honda mansion star yeah. wars da, 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 da. so da, 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 so if you if you like this and you see it i want to get you especially if you're an aliens fan or star wars fan yeah. it is such a cute thing to get so. it is cute <sighs> All right, so the what last. We what we drinking? What we drinking? What we drinking? What we drinking? Um, what we drinking? That beer we didn't open oh, yet. Oh, the beer. Okay. Um, the last thing we're gonna talk about as far as geek stuff is the arc season two just started. We just binged five. Five episodes, episodes in the hole, um, baby. I'm I forget how many they had last season, uh, but we are five in the hole. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna spoil it, but we just spoiled everything else. It, well, it lit Well, okay, we can spoil it. Fine. It, it's basically the same as last Such season. Such a bad influence. It's, a, it's the same as last season where it's just like unbelievable, r ridiculous things happening and you're just like in for the ride. Yeah. Um, I'm still tired of the young lady. I love her character, but I hate that the young lady, She um, she's British and South African, I think. Uh, or, Hold on, or, which, no, one? which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which um, one? Alicia. Alicia. She's British and she's from her, like she's half British, I think, and, some, and one of the countries is African. I think her parents or her mother is from an African country. Well, either way, she has a British accent. You can tell she has a British accent it's really because it's very thick and it's really hard for very her not thick. to speak in a British accent. And so, she, for whatever dumb reason, they have her speaking in an English in an American accent when it's dumb. She should just speak in a British accent if that's her accent. There's a girl from Serbia there. Mm -hmm. There's a guy who's Scottish. Like yeah. nobody cares. Let her speak in her Just real her. accent because I'm tired of her. Every time she says certain words, you can just hear her going back and forth, back mm. and forth, and it's just weird. I know I'm just being picky, but it just bothers me. But is that it? Oh, that's the beer. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. This so is, what is um, it? It's the Untitled Art. Untitled Art beer is one of my favorite beer companies. Untitled Art. Is it a stout? This is a chocolate malty amore pastry stout. Hmm. Um. It isn't one of my favorites because it's not it's good. as sweet as the ones that I, I'm usually used yeah, to. For, but, for a, a yeah, for an untitled art, it is not stout. as sweet. It is not. But it's good. But it, it is tastes very like good. coffee, too. Yeah. It is very good. It's really flavorful. It is deep. It has body. Of course, you know, it's a stout, so it's going to be all those things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's yummy. But um, uh, yeah, Stacy, not Stacy, uh, Alicia. Alicia, her real Alicia. name is Stacy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like I said, I hate, I hate spoilers, but. If you're not watching the arc, someone does die. Um, that made it through the first season. Yeah, they die in the, second, die season. In the second season. Um, actually, we thought a couple of them were gonna die. Uh, just yeah. because of you know it was just injuries, really wild. they were really bad injuries. And people are uh, just um, know people are always gonna be assholes, even yeah. in space. Even in space. I mean, y'all saw all about Star Galactica. Y'all mm -hmm. seen Star Wars, Star Trek. Uh, Firefly, like y'all know, people are assholes in space, mm -hmm. and there's always people who just um, are only looking out for themselves. Yeah. Um, but and then and then you figure out why people are the way they are, aka Kelly, mm. because her mom is a biatch. I mean, if you watch the first class season and you know that space Kelly, bitch. unfortunately, Kelly, um, she she was a villain, mm -hmm. but. The reason she's a villain is because her mom's a yeah. bitch. And yeah. her mom is horrible. It becomes um, even more apparent in season two. Yeah, and they give you more why reasons why is Kelly the is the way she is. And it kind of mm -hmm. makes you feel sorry for her, even though I kind of know. Yeah. But I also kind of do. Yeah. Um, because I feel like she would have been a different person if it, yeah, if for, it wasn't for her mom. If her mom was different. This, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Um, and um, let's see. Uh Huh. It's Felix. It's, 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 all so, of them are back for the most part. Felix yeah. is back. Alicia, Ava's there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say who, but uh, Bryce is there. Bryce is um, there. Sharon, Lieutenant Sharon. Yeah, is Garnet, there. Garnet's there. Garnet, yeah. who is Bridget's our friend Bridget's yeah. twin. Yeah, yeah. She should go. <laughs> I really, if this show her. was more popular, I really feel like Bridget should cosplay her because mm -hmm. she is hands down perfect mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. um, Completely. Perfect for that. It's actually it's, it's it's a fun show though. I mean, it's a sci-fi show, so it you know sometimes sci-fi has some, some yeah some really questionable some stuff. ridiculous <laughs> stuff. But I it's mean, so fun. If if you if you grew up with sci-fi and you you know Sharknado, you know they got some silly shit. On yeah. There. So, which one of our people have not seen Sharknado? And I'm, it's I, fine. They won't ever watch it. It's fine. 
I, I, I feel like it's We a only travesty. watched it as a crazy random happenstance. Be, be, and, and as Dr. I, I mean, but it has to but you have to watch it because it is it is a cult it's classic. Funny. It, it really is. At least the first it's one. It's horrible. It's hilarious. But yeah, it's it, it's a cult classic. I mean, you can laugh at a lot of I mean a lot of the stuff, especially with um Vivica when she Oh boy. Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody in that movie uh worked on that movie for the same reason I and Zary worked on it. Because he needed to have a certain amount of hours <laughs> and work time to get his SAG insurance. <laughs> That's real reason. Oh my god! But anyway, so yeah, so Arc season two, <sighs> uh, it's been it's worth the watch. We binged it mm-hmm. yesterday. Uh, we did like the first season, and you know mm-hmm. it's just a fun show. Yeah. Um, it kind of gives you a sort of kind of in small ways. It gives you like Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, it's it's a cool show. Um, it's a lot is techy and yeah, it's fun. I want to say it is you know pretty well done. It really is. It's not you know. Any other sci-fi show that I've seen in a long time, most sci-fi. Well, that's because we just we're not as I don't know we're not as as into like deep diving and trying to find stuff like we used to be. If it kind of comes across our plate, we watch it. But then mm-hmm. if it's not like in our face mm-hmm. constantly, we're not catching it like we used to back in the day. True. Um, but the last thing we kind of wanted to hit on, y'all, oh. the Olympics and the Olympics as a whole was great. USA. USA, USA, and then we tell you what our however hundred something medals. America, and, I can know, give you the rundown right, right now. It was what like a hundred and what it was a hundred and something uh, medals. Uh, we tied with China for gold, but we still beat them all around. So boom. All right, um, you oh oh, oh. no. Nope. USA and China t- um, tied for gold. I said 40. that. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Forty for gold. But we won for the medal. That's what I said. One twenty six. One twenty six and ninety one, which is all that matters. All that matters. You were so. But um, but what we're here to talk about (laughs) is the travesty that everyone saw. So (laughs) the great dancing around the world overall was kind of lackluster. It was just kind of lackluster, and I don't care. What nobody say, overall, it was kind of like, I've literally seen better competitions in breakdancing. In the streets. In the street. In the street. Literally in the I've street. I've seen. Downtown Atlanta. And those are done by crackheads. Oh, Jesus. Um, I've seen better competitions on just, it just wasn't great. And there were some really good dancers, don't get me wrong. Yeah, there was but some like great the dancers. overall, there. the competition just wasn't great. But let's get on to the real reason we're here tonight. The um, one. Ray Gun. The only so, Ray Gun. All I'm saying is I I get people saying, Oh, she did her best and oh, you guys are being mean. You know, I get it because it sucks to be the you know, have the ire of the whole world on you and also it sucks to have people laughing at you and, and, and talking shit about you. you and like you're a constant meme. You. Like I've seen a thousand memes of this poor lady, right? But I don't feel bad for her because you know We've why? We've seen windshield you know wipers with her going. <laughs> her legs. I don't feel bad for her. And the reason why I don't feel bad for this lady, and I'll tell you why. Because this yes. this sport. No, is, that, is that true what she did, though? I don't know. I don't know. Because okay. there, no, it's that, that part's not true. There's, okay. There well, might be some stuff that. where she, she might have some connections, but it's not all true. Not okay. what you're saying. But because we've heard some the, things. No, the, the thing about this lady that pisses me off is... So, she out there supposedly teaching people to break dance, and you done tried out, and Australia has Shit, said- breaking or dancing. You are the best we got. First off, I, I've seen Hugh Jackman dance. I know that man can break dance better than this. An aborigine can break dance better than her. I mean, they probably are break dancing better than her. Um, but that's the thing. Like she, it's, it's The reason why I don't feel sorry for her is because- she knew what her skills were. She knew she was not the up best. To par. She knew she wasn't the best. She knew she wasn't going to really be able to go up against people and win nothing. Mm-mm. And so I feel like she wasted so many people's time mm-hmm. and, and so much effort. And there were so many people that they literally, like Kwai just said, could have gone on the street and picked up some break dancers literally. off the street and said, hey, represent Australia. Yes. They literally could have just had somebody sponsor them yes. to go to the damn Olympics. And they didn't. And you know, 
that's a travesty because now they're not going to have it next uh, right. four years in L.A. Which, in yes. L.A., they freaking should have break dancing. Those are the, they're the best ones there. Come on. Like, if New York was hosting, I would say the same. That stuff started in New York. It's, it's our L.A. Like, these are, the movie breaking literally is in L.A., guys. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where those people were. They were in fucking L.A. Like, Beat Street. All those, they I were was, in New York. Like I was literally Why are we not having break dancing in L.A., of mm -hmm. all people, of all places, places I mean? Yeah. So that pisses me off because of people like her mm -hmm. who have no idea about the culture. They think they know about yeah. the culture. Ma they made she, a, they made a she joke out of it. She made a thesis of joke bullshit out of that has nothing to do with anything mm -hmm. to do with hip-hop or the culture. And she thinks she knows because she, no. oh, I, I studied it. No, you, no didn't. you didn't. You don't know what these people were thinking and what was in their heart and why they created this. No, you, you, so, made, you made a joke out of it. At any rate, it just pisses me off because, unfortunately, this is the thing that happens when people of color create something. And so there's Latinos out there that created stuff. There's Asians. Mm -hmm. There's black people that, mm -hmm. you know, have contributed to this art form over the years and, 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 and created this thing. Uh, in New York and California, places like that. And this woman from Australia just Killed comes on it. here acting like she cleaning the floor. Yeah. Like, what were you doing? Well, no, well she was cleaning the floor, all right. Like, it was frustrating. So the only thing she needed it. was so, And it's frustrating to even see the videos yes. constantly online because really she don't deserve she don't the amount of attention. Any, yeah, did. any, any line. So that's my rant yeah. on that. Yeah. No, but the Olympics true. as a whole was great. It was great, yeah. Um, Snoop Dogg came. Snoop and, represented. Uh, represented. Flavor Flav came and represented. He helped out some athletes. He mm -hmm. helped the water polo team who was badass. And I just, you know, I, I love that. I love that for them because, you know, Hell, Snoop could have people. That crip walk in there. People. <laughs> well, he did come out. He came to the breaking thing, crip walk, and it was better than her. People. Who don't have the same I, the same chances as other people in this world make different decisions, and so what I what what people should uh, see about like the situation with like Snoop and um, and and Flav Flav and all these people is that when you give people the resources and people have the resources yeah, have to have a better life do and do things differently, mm -hmm. they do things differently, and so because mm -hmm. why why are people surprised that Snoop Dogg is at the Olympics mm -hmm. and he's into sports and he's He's watching the equestrian. Well, why mm -hmm. wouldn't he? Because he's black. He's a rapper. He yeah. wouldn't know anything about that. No, it's because we're we're at, we're held into a, cer a certain a level, certain mm -hmm. level where that where we're not allowed to go any further, no mm -hmm. matter how hard we work. We're not and then when people do bust past that this. level and they have the opportunity to go further, people are surprised. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. You made it. So anyway, so people who are shocked. That Snoop Dogg like ran the ran the Olympics and like Flavor Flav was out there helping athletes. Like, don't be shocked. Hell, I hope I hope he's out there in twenty twenty eight. I hope he's out there in twenty twenty eight again. Don't be shocked. Like it's ridiculous, but that's how people people just assume that people are you know mm -hmm. and whatever. I don't know. I'm drunk at this point, so I'm like on my soapbox, but whatever. So at any rate, we will be back <laughs> because we gotta come and let y'all oh look at my eyes. Oh my god, I am. Slanted. Oh, <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> uh, we got Dragon Con in two weeks, yes. so we got a show coming for y'all to recap Dragon Con. And we, if 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 you see us, what well, what are we wearing those anyway? Oh, so uh, that'll be Sunday because that's the U ball. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, yes. So we ah, have ah, ah, we have our drunken uh, drunken dragon hotel jerseys that they made uh, Australian break dancing to talk shit. Stop this stupid woman. Uh, and so we have those jerseys we're going to wear. We also have... Um, T-shirts. Wait, which ones we just get? Oh, um, we're also meeting Alan to the and taking pictures with him. Oh, and my God. I'm for, so ready to meet. For those of you, oh. who, don't, for those of you who don't know who Alan to is... Alan Tudyk is not currently on Resident Alien mm -hmm. on Sci-Fi. It's mm -hmm. also on Netflix or mm -hmm. Hulu, one of them. Yeah, um, yeah. But he is also in Firefly. Mm -hmm. He is in Night's Tale. Mm -hmm. um, he's in Dodgeball. Mm -hmm. Steve Pirate Girl. <laughs> um, he's Steve also the voice of Hey Hey and Moana. Yes. Uh, he's the I prince. didn't realize I think he's he did so too. many. 
I think he's the, the Duke in Frozen 2, I think. He's he's done like a billion voices he's in Disney. So many voices. But if you see him, you know his face. Yes. <laughs> he's been in like 150 things. I looked at his IMDB the other day and I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I didn't realize. He's done like you were telling me and I was like, things. what? He was he was what? <laughs> so we have a uh, Resident Alien t shirts coming that say this is some, this bullshit, is some bullshit with the alien on it. And so we're gonna take pictures with him. Hopefully. Hopefully he'll sign it. Maybe. We might have to go to this table. We'll go to this table and see. Um, we're also, so, uh, we're, it's a lot of people we want to see. Like, we got um, Nandor and uh, Guillermo from What We Do in the Shadows mm-hmm. is coming. Um, so, we're actually getting in the picture with Machete. Yes. Uh, Danny Trail. Danny because Trail. I mean, it's Danny Trail, bro. Like, he's so cool, right? Like, we're getting a picture with him. Um, and I, he's having a panel for uh, From Dust Till Dawn oh, panel, yeah. and I cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and we're going to probably see a bunch of other people and try to get some other autographs while we're there at Dragon Con. So we're going to follow up this video in two weeks, give or well, take. We'll, we'll, we'll try to follow up with something short in between. Yeah, we're, we're but I just mean like, it won't be like this. But it won't be like this, yeah. yeah. Um, um, well, we, we might even come live from, from Dragon Con. From, we come we live will live. come live from Dragon Con. Good one, live. babe. Yeah. Oh. I don't. I don't know if we can go live on on YouTube. We can't go know, live on YouTube yet. We don't have enough subscribers. I can go live on, on Facebook Insta and Facebook and I, I, Insta. Yeah, I can go live on, on Instagram now. Yeah. So <clears throat> we'll do awesome. that. So our people so, can see us drinking. So so keep looking for us. Uh, uh, what is my Insta? Jesus Christ! I'm a horrible. B- it might be. <laughs> we'll just put know. it in the description. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for I'm watching. I'm Nick. I'm Quad. And we're drunk and blurdy. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> Very soon. Very soon. Good night, guys. Mwah. <laughs>